Here we are again with another fun-filled math lesson. Today we are going to learn about line graphs. Wow, that sure sounds fun. Can't wait to know more about it. So let's begin our lesson on line graphs. Line graphs introduction. We had learned about data representation in the form of picture graphs and bar graphs. Line graphs are graphs that represent information in the form of lines. Let's look at how to draw line graphs. In this table, we have three types of fruits. Apples, mangoes and bananas and their quantities. Now let's look at the table and draw a line graph. In this line graph, we have the names of the fruits at the bottom. And for every fruit, we have a dot. The dot for apples is placed corresponding to 4, so we have 4 apples. The dot for mangoes is placed corresponding to 8, so we have 8 mangoes. The dot for bananas is placed corresponding to 6, so we have 6 bananas. Then we join the dots to get a line. This is a line graph representing the number of fruits. These are different ways of representation. Line graphs show the same information as picture graphs and bar graphs, but are simpler. Like picture graphs and bar graphs, line graphs help in finding total, maximum, minimum, and for comparing quantities. You did well, Tiger. I'm pleased to see you've understood the concept. I did. Just have to practice with the exercises. Well, you'll get plenty of practice time. <laughs>